Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is the next part of my steampunk scrap metal sculpture inspired 3D printed alien xenomorph suit. Last time and the time before I showed you the hand and the forearm and now I'm going to work my way up all the way to the shoulder hopefully. So I'm using my Lulzbot Taz to print all the parts. As I mentioned in the previous parts, this is a very special Lulzbot Taz that has um, dual extruders. It has one extruder specifically for flexible material. I've got Ninja Flex loaded here and one normal extruder for doing rigid material. So I have two rolls here, one of Ninja Flex and one of black ABS. And that's how I've printed all the parts so far. So some of these parts are flexible and some of them are rigid pieces which are articulated. So um, I can also print the forearm, for instance, was printed in rigid and rubber material in one go. So some of this is rigid and some of it's rubber. And that's how I'm going to continue with the project. So I've got my small alien here, which is the uh, roughly the 18 inch model. Um, I should point out I'm not trying to make it exactly how it was in the movie. It is it sort of supposed to look like one of those scrap metal sculptures. Um, sort of a steampunk inspired thing, but with all the parts custom designed. So, uh, one thing I do want to do though is add these characteristics of Alien, which are these sorts of features, which is like conduit that runs all over it. And I haven't done that very much. There's some ridges on the back of the fingers, but that's about it. So I've bought this massive roll of uh, half inch conduit, which is very similar to what's on Alien, and I'm going to run that all over the suit. So. One of the things I need to do is make a, a holder that runs this up to the side of the arm on each side. Um, and that's going to run all, up, all the way up the arm. So I need to make some special plastic clips that can hold this and they'll be mounted on the pieces. And that's a consideration for the next pieces that I'm about to design. So as we move up the arm, the pieces are going to get bigger and bigger. So um, we can't really do single prints anymore. So what we're going to do is basically build this like a construction set with custom pieces. So what I've got here are the, um, these are actually the shoulder bell parts. So the knob on the right hand side, there's going to be um, two of those per shoulder bell. And then there's some ribbed sections. Um, there's going to be three each of those. And the big, uh, or the, I should say the smaller diameter um, circular pieces that are slightly open there are going to be to put the conduit in. So that's what those are for. So these are the pieces which make up the bicep, tricep and um, the join between them. So the ribbed section on the right is for the bicep and tricep which is characteristic of Alien. And the piece on the left is a link which um, turns through 90 degrees and basically fits flat on the face on the two connectors you can see on the left hand side of the ribbed piece. So here's the assembly of all the pieces together um, which Presumably looks a bit more like an arm and a bicep and a tricep, so you can see there's multiple pieces there for the shoulder bell at the top. And you can see now there's um, a line for two parts of conduit to run down, and they continue to run down the um, outside of the upper arm as well. So the elbow I haven't designed yet, um, once I fitted this and I can wear this alongside the um, forearm, then we'll be able to see what how big and how big the elbow looks. All these pieces are going to be printed rigid. The elbow will probably be flexible or a combination of rigid and flexible material. So let's print these pieces out and see what they look like. Right, here they are. There's our custom construction set ready to go. So uh, let's have a look at these. So we've got our bicep and tricep pieces. Um, I made these slightly thicker than I did when I did the forearm. If you remember from that part, I had some problems getting the support material out, which you can still see under each piece. Um, these ones I made twice as thick, so they're much stronger and I've managed to get the support material out, so we've got them completely hollow. I've got a pair of those, and we've got the links between them, which are these two pieces which fit onto the flat there and that will link the two together so they face each other with the links in the middle so that makes the, the actual upper arm um, we've got our two shoulder bell buttons and a number of these pieces which we've got um, two different types here so we've got two with the conduit grippers 
close together, uh, which should allow this conduit to be squeezed in there. Have to be careful how we put that in and uh, root it up the bicep. So those have got slightly tapered ends on them. So if we stack them together, we should find that we come up with um, this sort of angle between them and all six of them make the shoulder bell. So we're going to weld those together with um, acetone with some ABS dissolved in it, which acetone dissolves ABS so we can chemically weld the pieces together. So let's put that together and see how it fits. So what I've got here is uh, one pot with ABS dissolved in acetone in it, which makes a sort of ABS glue. Um, Obviously it's acetone and ABS is like, you know, dissolved in it, so be careful that you do this in a well-ventilated area because the fumes are quite bad. And I've got one pot that's just got acetone in. I've used to rinse out the brush, so it's uh, a bit black from the past. Uh, but basically we can just use this black stuff as a glue to stick these pieces together. So with a small brush, just go and apply that to the edge. Probably do one at a time actually, and the edge of the other piece. And we can go and stick those together. Right, so that's half of that done. We just need to stick the additional piece in, which I'll obviously have to do at the same time on both of these. So let's have some more of that. leave that to set. Next are my bicep pieces. So I've already stuck a couple together there and I'm just using this tube which originally was from the middle of a ball of string just to keep the spacing there. So I'm gonna have to do these one by one, we'll let that go off then we'll add on the next one at about that angle and hopefully that should go all the way up to make the shoulder bell. It seems fairly well sized so far, uh, just slightly wider than the bicep and tricep piece and big enough to fit on my shoulder. Obviously the uh, knobs go either side eventually when we've got the whole contour around them. Okay, so I cut the tube in half so I can do um, another one of these before the first one's properly set. So I've got both pieces printed out now, so that's how they're going to sit, so that's the shoulder and that's for the bicep and tricep. And I started to feed this conduit in to the hooks that are on there, and obviously that bit feeds all the way down, and then we need to feed that past the elbow, which I haven't designed or printed yet, and we need to make some additional clips so that that continues to run down the forearm, which goes at the other end. So let's uh, put this conduit into all of these. It's a split conduit, so you can kind of shrink it and it will just sit into those hooks all the way down. And we just need to get the spacing right to the upper arm there. All right, so that's all my conduit fed in. Of course, this now has to go down the forearm. So I need to make some clips that hold it onto the existing strap slots. And also I need to make the elbow piece. In fact, this is gonna be more like this. Uh, so one of these comes across the elbow and down the front and the other one goes right round behind your arm and down the other side. So I need to make a sort of semi-flexible elbow piece that's also got at least two hooks on for these conduits and uh, also is characteristic of Alien which has a little hook on his elbow which um, needs to look like uh, a mechanical piece. So let's have a look at some CAD for that. So here are my elbow pieces, um, the big red piece is going to be printed in Ninja Flex and that's um, actually upside down so the pointy bit faces down um, and I've, it's got the two clips there to hold the conduit. Um, I've tried to make it look quite mechanical, perhaps a shield off a motor or something like that, a bit of scrap metal. Um, you'll notice there's a, um, a pointy piece on it with a hole in which is partially round and that's for the blue piece which is going to be printed in rigid ABS to attach to. So. That's going to make, basically that's going to point downwards um, in this view and that's going to make the pointy piece which kind of points backwards and, up uh, and upwards on the elbow of Alien 
So let's get those printed out and see what they look like. So here's my elbow piece, which has come out quite nicely. This is in Ninja Flex, so it's nice and flexible. Um, I've got the conduit holders there. Um, I made a hole for the strap to go in to put around my elbow. And I've got this piece, which is bolted on, which is made of rigid ABS. Um, it fits quite nicely. Let me put it all together and I'll show you what we've got. All right, so that's what we've got so far. There's not much holding this on till I do the rest of the suit. Um, but we've got definitely the elbow piece there and we've got the conduit running down. Uh, the back piece of conduit takes a kink around the back of the elbow to join both the hooks on the inside and then runs down the inside of the arm. So um, it may be that I put some internal stuff in the upper arm as well. So I'm considering either having electronics there or um, obviously Alien is biomechanical. So it'd be quite good to have some tubes carrying green fluid, lot just like... Um, in the movie, obviously Alien's blood is green acid. Um, perhaps some green fluid with an air pump blowing bubbles through it would be quite good. Um, either that or green EL wire that lights up. So uh, pretty happy with what I've got so far. Um, it's fairly flexible. Once I can position that bicep correctly and hook the shoulder onto the rest of the suit. So uh, next time I'm gonna work on the head, I think, and that's gonna be um, a number of different parts so that I can try and stylize that in the same way. Again, it's gonna be a frame which is all made like this, but to resemble Alien's head, um, including the animatronics for the jaw. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates, and also like my social media pages for sneak peeks on other projects.